Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm your friendly neighborhood basement dweller, Nev from Nev's Tech, but don't worry, ma'am. I am from the internet, and I've been on the internet, and I've been around for a while. The Dancing Hamster. A lot of us have seen these. A lot of us have heard about these. I think about, uh, geez, about 20 years ago, these things were super popular. You would press the foot, and they would do a dance, but unfortunately, this one does not feel like dancing. No, sir. This hamster don't feel like dancing when the old Joanna plays. His heart might feel the need, but his two feet can't find the way. You'd think that he could muster up a little soft-souled, gentle sway. But he don't feel like dancing. No, sir. No dancing today. And I think that's probably because the batteries have uh, rotted out or just died. Oh my goodness, will you look at that? They actually didn't rot. I guess batteries don't really rot, they leak, right? Well, they didn't leak. Little bit of stomp and tom there. Oh, take me where the hockey players face off down the rink. And the Stanley Cup is all filled up for a chance to win the drink. Now the final flick of a hockey stick. And I, oh, they actually molded the face. That's interesting. Check that out. Looks like he has a little spot there in case he wants to smoke a cigarette. Ever since the Furby, the design seems to be to uh, cloak the unit in a fur and then have a zip tie at the very bottom to hold everything together. Lieutenant Dan, it bit me. Ah, frick, I broke his arm trying to get it off. I was not expecting that. Anyways, take it from the top, Tom. So it's pretty standard for us to have a plastic shell all around the main unit, but if you want to look at the robotics, that's uh, that's what you want to look at. And uh, that's exactly what I'm into when I do this kind of stuff. I just kind of want to see the robotics, the consumer level robotics. I gotta say, there's definitely something unsettling about this particular unit when you get it all down. Maybe it's because there's the molding in the face, but uh, when I open these things up, I really expect to see nothing. Once you take the eyes off the thing, then... Uh, I think it was Gene Roddenberry that said that all of his creations have to have eyes or else people aren't going to appreciate it. So here's what it looks like once you get the shell off of it. Of course, the plastic kind of degrades. Check out this old school motherboard printed circuit board. Man, there's probably no I.O. going on here. I don't even see where the main ship would be. Oh, it must be right there. Check it out, the daughter board. It's got it on the daughter board, and I bet they have the daughter board or the main ship right there on the daughter board right here because uh, back then it was kind of difficult to get certain parts, and you'd have to switch out and interchange different parts. But look how, look how, um, what should I say, maybe archaic it looks. It looks like it was slapped together by hand. Oh, we got some hot snot in there to keep everything together. Well, hey, if that's a good way to keep everything together during shipping, that's a good way to keep everything together. So, let's take it one more time from the top stomping Tom, shall we? So normally that by this point I'm really intrigued by the robotics going on in anything that I tear down but really there is definitely something unsettling about the molded head being on this thing. So I've tried to take it apart, but uh, the plastic is just so worn. Even though this thing's been on card the entire time, the plastic, there's just no integrity to it. Ultimately what we got here is a lot of rotating and rocking back and forth. Oh, 
Okay, so mostly what we got going on here is uh, is motors to tilt it back and forth and then motors to make the arms go back and forth a little bit. The song itself must be uh, ROM directly on this chip on the daughter board that we have. And um, I'm not sure that uh, the head really does much of anything at all. I'm 99% sure that I didn't see any wires going into the head. Oh, maybe a little, just a little bit of head bobbing, but that's about it. So yeah, definitely a unit from a different time. I'm really glad that I finally managed to get into one to see what makes it tick. I love taking these things apart. I love seeing the technology that makes these things work. And that's what it looks like, that one chip right there. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me. Slap that like button if you like this stuff. Really appreciate it. A little bit of teardown therapy. I love this stuff. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, have a good one. And take care of each other, will you? Catch you later.